The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building. West Coast in the building. My guy, Jay motherfucking worthy in the building. What's up, bro? What's happening, bro? Happy to be here. I'm excited to have you here, bro. Yeah, definitely. Long time coming. For sure, for sure. I love, um, so we had the show in New York this weekend, right? Mm. Um, and I love, uh, I was watching your story this weekend. You were like, uh, it's been your first time back in a little bit. It is. And you posted a picture uh, in the city. Of like just kind of like it was kind of like around sunset time, and you were like I forgot exactly the words that you said, but that's why I'm asking you. So you rhyme. You were like, "Good." Yeah, I said every time, like no matter how many times I come here, or even if I've lived here, like this is my second home. But like, I it never, it never gets old to me. Never looking at that city line, like you know what I'm saying. The, yeah. I just love that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's inspirational. You feel me? So every time I see New York, I get inspired. And you spent a little time out here, uh, pandemic. Yeah, pandemic I'm, time. I moved out here from like 2020 to 2022, but you know I've been coming out here for a long time, fucking with yams and um, rest in peace. Yeah, I've been fucking with Capo. You know what I'm saying? Harlem. You know, sh- shout outs to Shot Half, Free Shot Half. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of um, family. Those are my my brothers. You know what I'm saying? So. It's always been love on this side. I feel like I've really uh, been embraced uh, by New York, which is, you know, not always the case um, coming from somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I feel like um, whenever I speak to artists from the West, you know, they always, like, the main thing is always like, oh, I find it hard to break on the East or to make certain connections on the East Coast. But I think you're a great example of, like, relationships mean everything at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, and and I just think if you're real, you know what I'm saying, like that goes a long way. Like in New York, it's like you know, and you know, I hate to say it, but in L.A., especially in the industry, we got Hollywood there. You know, you deal with a lot of fake bullshit, a lot of different attitudes and shit. Out here, people are a little bit more like, you know, personable. I feel like you know what I'm saying, and um, and I just feel like my music, like I make authentic original sound and music so i feel like they appreciate that shit out here you know my shit really some of it i got different sounds but some of it really sound like la just like griselda people love them because it sounded like new york you know what i'm Mm -hmm. saying um and my shit sounded like la and that's why you know probably why we joined forces you know what i'm saying because it made sense Right. How long ago did you first meet, uh, meet with the Griselda guys? Man, I gotta be like me and Gun been talking since like shit 2015. Oh wow! But okay. we we all met at Alchemist House 2016. That's when like all those um, relationships were formed. Basically, I was working on um I had just put out my first album. You gotta think like I I came in the game way late. You know what I'm saying? Like. I was just around this shit always and was like, yeah, you know, like I could fuck around. The first person I ever did a song with was Dash. He was like, he came to my house in Compton. I was living with Big Face at the time. Mm. And I'm like, you know, and then Yams was like, oh, this shit is tight. You know, I was just rapping over like a loop that I liked. I got my boy Sean to loop it. And, um, you know, that's the, that's what I wanted to do. I always just wanted to rap over oldies or you know, because I listen to, like, a lot of old shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, uh, you know, that, um, the I just put out my first album. Back to the original question. I put out my first album, and then we went over to Al's, and uh, he hit me up and wanted to make an album. So I went over there, and that was crazy. And that's where I basically met um, Gun and Khan, and then they invited me to go on tour um, that following year. We did the... Griselda on steroids tour. That was my first tour. So we've been locked in for like shit eight years, you know, really behind mm-hmm. the scenes. Like, been, yeah, we've been rocking for a minute. I was gonna say, so like, uh, and then how long you like officially been like with Griselda? Well, Griselda? you know, Gun had always told me I was Griselda, you know, <laughs> okay. I was just, All and like, I, I, you know, I, I, um, so I think it's always been, but I just, you know, uh, once he started like get signing more artists to the label or you know what I'm saying? Uh 
you know, and for me, it's not even like a signing thing and this or that. It's just like that's family, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like that's who I represent with. That's who I go out and rock with, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to this rap shit, that's my team. Right. So, um, yeah, you know, he he let the world know. So I guess whenever he told the world that I was Griselda, that's when everybody else it's like, found out, but I'd already, Zelda. I'd already been. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right. And if you pay attention, I was on like, you know, uh, the Hitler Seven, Eight, um, that last one that just mm. came out. You know, we've been, we've been rocking for a minute. I love the um, you talking about Dash was staying out uh, on the West Coast with you. Yeah, yeah. He was well. He was living out there. He was staying with Chuck English, but he would come um, over to me and Big Face. Um, mm spot in Compton and um record and hang out on the block he was young as fuck like and he was the one that like went back to the east and was like he ain't never seen no shit like that I brought Dash through like 10 neighborhoods like I was just like oh you want to shoot the video for this year pull up and like we just slid around with my cameraman and everywhere we went a lot of you know like homies was coming out and showing love and supporting and we went through like probably took him through like six seven hoods that day so he went back to new york like yo p worthy really got this shit on lock out there and then you know what i'm saying so it's funny shout out dash though man he gave me my uh you know what i'm saying you know like basically my first uh song with like a rapper that's fire yeah Dash. it's funny because i met Dash. i'm like bro i know you from out here bro but you give me big west coast vibes and for real like, and then we started uh we started talking he's told me about all his time out there and i'm like yeah i see how the west coast influence like dash now you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and that's not a bad thing i love that because i feel like he's like a perfect blend of like you know both because of you know obviously living out here and then spending his time out there as well too mm -hmm. yeah dash dash is um He's universal, you know what I'm saying? Universal is a good word for that. Yeah, for sure. yeah, for sure. I like, um, I like that. Uh, we're get we're gearing up for this Rock Marcy project, right? Hell yeah, Hell big yeah. project. Super excited for you. You know, thank you, Amber, appreciate congratulations it. Congratulations on that. Um, this project, how did this project come about between the two of y'all? Shit, you know, uh, my boy Doughboy, you know what I'm saying? My dog, that's my brother. You know, he uh, he came home from doing a bid like 13 years, um. And we met through some mutual homies, and he had been following my career while he was in the pen. Um, and, you know, I just fucked with dude. That became my bro, and him and Rock became, like, really close. So he hit me and was like, yo, um, yeah, Rock want to do a project with you. Link me with Rock. And me, we maybe met, like, I think we met one time on that Griselda on steroids tour. Mm -hmm. And that was at, what, what was that place called, Luke? What was that shit called? The Hall, Webster Hall. Webster Hall, okay. Right, right. It was at Webster Hall, but um, yeah, that's how it came about. But that became, I don't know, these relationships. Like you know, some when you meet somebody and they become your homie, you're like, and you click, it just happened like that instantly. So, you know, me and Rock um got close over the last couple years, and you know what I'm saying. We've been working on this shit, and um. Yeah, it's about, it's about to be fire, man. This project about to uh, turn some heads for sure. So when before the interview, we were talking about like you you were speaking a little bit about reaching out to like some more OGs when it comes to the music. Like uh, Bum B's on the album. Bun is on the album. Which is yeah, fire. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll let the cat out the bag with that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's some other guests on there that I want to let out right now, but we'll we'll let that be known. Yeah, Bun's on there, and that's I just. You know, I like to pay homage to the shit I grew up listening to. You know, like UGK was a huge inspiration for me. And um, I think that's what the game's been missing. And uh, I think a lot of artists, too, you know, like I, I see a lot of older cats that's in the game and doing their shit, and it's dope that they're doing it, but I don't think they're always jumping on the right production. So I like to, like, you know, curate it and make give the right beats to the right artists and like try to create something special and have a moment. You know what I'm saying? When you're doing something with a legend, you better make it like a moment. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. And I like that for you. Cause it's kind of like, 
you're already creative and as is in the artistry space, but like even how you're speaking right now, it's it's like you're speaking from like an executive producer space too. It's like yo, like okay, so hypothetically a Bumby, he does music now, right? Yeah. But you don't always like certain productions that he's on. So what you gonna do is you gonna bring Bumby into your world. And, and I like gonna... Buns for no, like and I, that's like I'm not using Bun as an example at well, all. Well, hypoth- I was saying hypothetically. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, 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 for sure though. Yeah, like I like to, you know what I'm saying, like. For example, I'll let people know right now, me and Corrupt working on an album together. Congratulations, that's fire. You know, and I, I, I'm, i like, excited to get them on London Drugs production, me and Sean, you know what I'm saying? Um, or, you know, getting Corrupt on an Alchemist beat, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit that ain't been done before, you know what I'm saying? But would sound really good, you feel me? Hmm. Um, you know, uh shit like i was talking with cube you know i'm trying to get cube back in there with mugs you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. uh and create that fire you know what i'm saying like just shit that i appreciate dog like shit that i just listened to as uh you know coming up the shit that made me want to rap and now being able to you know brush shoulders with these people and work with them you know i gotta um i gotta go and put my curation um to work right and and create something special. So that's all, you know. But um, I seen, you know, I loved what Gun and them do with they shit, like getting Busta and AZ on records and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But on conductor beats and like, dope. That's what the world want to hear them on. You feel me? Yeah, the world want to hear something different. And it's like it's it's cool watching you speak about this, like the way you speak about it, because you know, like you see, like the um. Like the like the younger version of you coming out, like you're like, oh, yeah. I love Cube. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what yeah. I want to see Cube do? Do some shit with mugs. Right. And now you're like, you're grown up Jay Worthy, right? You're the artist Jay Worthy, and mm-hmm. now you're like, you know, I'm in a position where I can, I can make, make my up. childhood yeah, dreams come yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. And also just make some something, something dope, dope for the happen. culture. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I'm just trying to like connect dots. You know what I'm saying? Put paint where it ain't. You know what I mean? And the corrupt project, man. Tight. Yeah, man. Well, How does I can't that happen? Wait. Well, uh, we we linked up through um, some mutual friends through um, Tash from the Alcoholics. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He put us together, and um, when I was in Vegas, he invited me. Actually, Corrupt invited me to his house on Christmas Eve. I spent Christmas Eve at Corrupt's <laughs> sipping. That's fine. Uh, champagne we was having mimosas and just listening to music for hours and just like you know i was just playing them different beats different songs different ideas talking about a gang of shit talking about a gang of street shit because you know we both know a lot of the same people um and it was just a good time yeah so i can't wait he's on tour right now with um with dog so when he get done with that um i'll probably head out to vegas and we start working on that christmas with corrupt Christmas yeah, with Corrupt, De- Death Row Christmas, you know what I'm saying? That was that was a compilation back in the day, so, yeah. And there's um there was another EP I saw you had briefly mentioned on the gram with, uh, with Kamaya. Oh, yep, yep. We getting started on that, actually, right after this podcast. I'm a, um, I want to do something different with her, too. So, you know, um, I'm going to get Fraud to... Um, Produce the whole project. Fire. Probably be a whole length project too. But you know, people really like that joint we did on the last album called Good Looking. Mm-hmm. And um, she even wanted to tap more into the sample shit. I think it'd just be, you know what I'm saying? Once again, something that's out of left field and not expected, but you know what I mean? Comes out really good in the end. You know what I mean? Something that you wouldn't expect Kamai over Harry Fraud, but. When I put it together and you hear it, it sounds like it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Kamai is such an underrated, like, in the game. Like, she's oh, so She the best fire, to bro. me. Like, she she's one of so the greats. Fire. One of the best. Like, I feel like when it comes to her records too, bro, mm-hmm. like, every time Kamai does, I'm like, bro, she don't miss. Nah. She slides on everything, bro. Like, everything. Hooks, verses, like, she don't miss for sure. Got a lot of Happy birthday to Kamai. It's her birthday today. Too. It's her birthday today? Yeah. Man, by the time you see this, it's probably way, way past your yep, birthday. Yep. But happy birthday, Kamai. Yep. We appreciate you. For sure. But it's funny because it's like, you know, like you dropped like 
a couple projects last year, like what three or three or four projects last year. Hold on, let me triple check because you be three. You dropped three projects I did last year. Mugs. Well, it it went the me and Larry June two peas in a pod. Oh, yep. Then it went the Harry Fraud album, and then it went the Mugs album. Right, and it's funny because like the all the you got the Rock project that you talking about, you got the Corrupt project you talking about, you got the Kamaya project you talking. I about. got my debut solo album. Debut solo album that I've never dropped a debut solo. Like if you notice, I do projects with producers, or I'll do a project with another rapper. Like me and Currency did a project together but mm -hmm. we had sean produce it me and uh larry did one we had sean produce it this year i'm gonna give him my debut solo album you know what i'm saying maybe it comes out on griselda maybe it comes out on lynch mob maybe it comes out on death row there's a lot of different options but we'll just see where what you know what i'm saying what makes sense i definitely gonna put out a um griselda album this year too it's just comes down to um, timing because Gun be moving and I be moving and we mm -hmm. really both got to get in the studio together and you know what I'm saying? Because I like to curate too, just like he likes to curate. But I think for that particular project, it'll be the first time I let somebody like really like pick the beats and do something for me because I've never done that before. I've always been like super hands-on with that. So whatever I do with him, I'm going to give him creative control. Mm, debut solo album. Mm -hmm. Big deal, my boy. Mm -hmm. Long, long time coming too. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for you. For sure, appreciate it. Appreciate <laughs> it. You nervous to kind of give somebody else a little bit of the reins? No, nah, like no. Nah. I mean, well, I don't know. Like I said, like maybe my debut solo album isn't the Griselda album. Maybe mm -hmm. it is. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just yeah. saying whatever I do with Gun, like you know, I'm a, I'm a trust his vision and. He trusts mine too, so maybe we both come together and it's, you know what I'm saying? Okay, he wants these, he got these conductor ones, these monk ones, this Derringer, I grabbed this from Sean, this from Cardo, this from Dame Funk, and it come together and it sound marvelous as one, you know what I'm saying? Right. I um I love what you had said. I wrote this down. You said, I don't see the point in buying jewelry, rather buy properties and classic cars. Yeah, I don't really be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I... Uh, I'll be just saving my bread, dog, because, you know what I'm saying? I know, you know, you never know what, what's going on. We've seen shit come and go. Like, look, the world is crazy. People were buying digital art for millions I of dollars. That same, look, I, I wrote you that feel me? right there, too. Yeah, people were buying digital art for millions of dollars, all right? Now that shit tanked. You feel me? I don't know. You know what I mean? And shout outs to everybody that got in while it was good, you know what I mean, and got their money. That's dope. And um, I never jumped into it because I just didn't know too didn't much about it. it. I just, you know, I stick to this this merch, this vinyl, this streaming, and a little bit of real estate on the side. And, um, you know, sometimes I might even play with some stocks. But um, for the most part, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just not that flashy. But if you go look like... Generally, if you look back, and maybe that's because I like nice things. I, I, you know what I mean? I like to have a watch or a chain here sometimes. But, um, you know, if you go look at, like, the West Coast artists, like the greats, for, even from back in the day, they really didn't have, like, a lot of jewelry like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't really like that. Maybe a little bit of gold, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. like, there wasn't no, like... The bust downs and all that is like a New York thing. But I do love it, though. <laughs> like, I do thing. love it. You're don't right, get me like wrong, it. but I just, like, I don't know, man. I just rather spend, like, some, some like, I've, I've been buying classic cars lately. You What's know your favorite what classic car that you bought? I bought this uh, 1988 uh, Fox Body uh, 5.0, all original. Put the gold Ds on it. You know what I'm saying? Um, my next one I'm going to get is this... Uh, 96 SS Impala. Love that thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got the SL500, you know? And then, you know, that's, that's I don't know. I, eventually, I want to get a 6.4, but um, I don't got room for all these shits yet. Well, I got to get, you know what I'm saying? I got to get, I got to make some more room. You know what I mean? Larry got... 
See, I, you know, my boys is Larry and Spitter. You know, yeah. they got garages full of shit. So I'm like, all right, let me let me grab a few, you know. But they real car dudes. Like, I'm not a super car dude like that. I, I fuck with it. But, like, to really get a low rider and build one up and, like, you hit switches, you break shit. You got to, like, you got to really know what you're doing with that shit. Right. Because mm-hmm. you said they do they actually be building some of their shits? Yeah, Spitter builds all his shits. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Larry don't really low ride though like that. Larry drives like, you know, newer cars. He Larry's buying Lambos and Raris and shit like that. And then the older shits that he did, he he got like a 5.0 or like a he got like an 80s Corvette. You know what I'm saying? So it's a difference. Them low lows though, you constantly putting money in them bitches. But I I love it. I, I you know I'm about to get into it. It's it's not really about the money. It's just more about the space right now. Right, I feel I really want a '69 Camaro. Mm. Well, actually, I told muscle my, car. Muscle car. I'm a muscle mm. car guy. Well, actually, I want a modern Camaro. My my one of my life's goals is to buy my dad his '69 Camaro, and then me to buy whatever year we in modern Camaro, and then just go yeah, on like a, go I, on I a fuck with the Camaros, like the IROX. Yep, those are my shit. I love those. Yeah, I love. I For really sure. love the old school. The old or like old school Corvette Stingrays too. I love an old school. Uh, I love an old Stingray, man. Yeah. They don't make that shit like that. Nah, hell <laughs> they no. definitely, they hell definitely nah. don't. Mm-hmm. Now you look at Stingrays; they look like fucking. It's different. It's different. For sure. Or like somebody, uh, shout out my boy Dev. My boy Dev is trying to get me to buy a, a Porsche. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, eh. I don't know. I like muscle cars and and shit like that. Where do you park your car out here? Like this shit is crazy. You gotta like spend like six hundred dollars a month. Look worthy. Yo, bro, you gotta parking, have, bro. Your money better be long if you live in New York City. But nah, there is, you know, it is parking. But like when I lived in Harlem, like I was like, let me rent a car, you know. And then like I'm like, fuck this. I took that shit back because I was like, I'm circling the block for like two hours trying to find a spot. Sometimes, yeah, bro, well, that's like, that's definitely Harlem for you. Yeah, yeah. I feel I like Brooklyn and, and Queens is a you little can, bit better. Yeah, you can park up. You can park up. You might have to park a few blocks away, but there's definitely gonna be a spot somewhere. Type shit. Right, I, ain't go, right. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. If you really from out here, you know how to jug. You know what I'm saying? You know how to get around and um find the spots. Like my man Bar, he'd be like. Psh. But boom, we in the city. Oh, spot there, spot there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, how you be knowing, like, you know what I'm saying? Where all these, like, because most people would be like, nah, don't get a car if you go to New York City, if you're going to visit. But be nice having a car moving around out here. Come on, man. Got to. What what do you know? You just be taking Ubers around here? Yeah, I'll just be, yeah, just at the driver's service or Ubers. You know what I'm saying? And. You know, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I, I like to feel the city. So, like, shit, I hop on a train too. Mm. Fuck it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like to, I like to live like a real New Yorker when I'm out here. I respect that. What yeah. did Big Body Best give you the other night? He gave you a jacket. Like yeah, a leather he, gave jacket? A, he gave me a red Pele Pele. I think it was from like 2005. <laughs> that shit was hard as fuck. I told him, I'm like, bro, your body has a whole room, like a whole room at his spot. That's just full of leathers, like full of Avrex and Pele's, like from like back in the day. Like he's just been collecting them, like you know what I'm saying. He has tons of them. So yeah, shout outs to Body. You know that's my brother. You feel me? That's what made me come do the podcast too. I seen him on there. I said, "Oh yeah, my boy getting busy up there." I said, "Let me come. Let me come sit down and chop game with you." Yeah, because Bess, because first of all, Bess's interview wasn't even an interview. It was just Bess talking for 60. It was a 60 minute Bess rant. <laughs> Man, I love that. I loved it. It yeah, was great. It's the best. So, what else do we have planned for this year? We got the pro- a couple projects on yeah, the way. Yeah, we got the Rock Project. Um, we got me and Dame Funk. I don't know if y'all hip to who that is. That's a legend. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Um, and when it comes down to this modern funk shit, you know, at the end of the day, I'm like, you know, as much as I am a rapper, I'm a funk artist too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's how I look at myself. Um, you know, and I've been embraced by, you know, some of the the gods with that shit. Like me and George Clinton about to get in the studio on the 29th. When I got that co-sign or whatever you want to call it, and he reached out to me, I was like, Shh, ain't nobody could tell me shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the king of this P-funk shit. So. 
you know, um, Dame to me is like the king of this like new shit when it comes to the funk. And um, we made an amazing album, so that'll be dropping this year too. And um, shit, I'm getting, I'm into all different type of shit. Me and me and the homie Baron Davis just did an album. We just, you know, that's my boy. We just did that shit in like two, three days. I don't know when we're gonna drop that, but that man Baron is fire. He could really rap. Mm -hmm. So that shit gonna come out. Um, I'm gonna be working on um, my documentary. Um, the worthy story. Yeah, yeah. Really, just give everybody the raw and uncut, and uh, you know, just staying in it, man. Staying in the game. Working on my clothing shit this year. Heavy. You know what I'm saying? About to launch a line, more than just merch. Really, like some shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I didn't see everybody else, you know, like I I do the marketing for um pro club, so you know, I'm and I've been around the streetwear game forever, you know, and seen so many brands um come up. So I'm just at this point I'm just leaving money on the table if I'm not doing my own shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cuz I know how to get it going. So that's a little, you know, that's what I'm going to be busy with for this year. Got a lot on my plate. But, jazz uh, album, too. I saw you said you wanted to oh, do that. Oh, hell yeah. I want to do a <laughs> jazz album. I definitely want to, man. And I really want to make it. Like, I want all live musicians. Like, you know, I'm going to start booking sessions like that more and just, like, invite different musicians, different session players to come through and do shit. I'm excited to see how George um, runs his shit when I go. Um his session and just soak up game you feel me that'll be dope word man well we're excited for everything man um, appreciate it by the time y'all see this you have a question cal come on cal get your question in <laughs> good buddy let's go let's go hello that's everybody. my guy i've been seeing him around for years <laughs> appreciate you worthy uh welcome back to another episode of cal's questions so earlier today you guys were talking about um how you only do collab projects with like one rapper or like one producer mm -hmm. and i was curious is um are there if you had to choose one singer oh. to do a collab project with who would it be easy great question easy charlie wilson Ooh, i like that answer mm -hmm. charlie wilson for sure gap band to me is like the all-time like i got three favorite groups gap band stylistics the Isley Brothers, you know what I'm saying? So, but for some reason, Charlie to me, like, that's my turn up music. So I feel like I'll make hits with Charlie for sure. So Charlie, if you hear this shit, man, reach out, man. I'm trying to make some shit with you. <laughs> there you go, man. Great question, Kyle. Well, look, bro, I appreciate you being yeah, here. Man. Um, Much love. Collab Project, him and Rock Marcy out by the end of this month. By the time y'all seeing this, so go check that out. Uh, freestyles out now. Uh, Jay, before we get out of here, anything else you want to let the fans know? Where they could follow you at? All that good stuff. Now's the time to let them know. This camera right here. Jay Worthy 142 on the IG, on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go subscribe to the YouTube channel, London Drugs. And uh, yeah, that's about it, man. There you go. Well, make sure you go follow him. Uh, freestyle out now. Collab, you, you heard him. There's mad collab projects on the way. You know what I'm saying? The Rock Marcy one's coming sooner, though. <laughs> so make sure you go check that out. When that's out, go follow him. Go run up everything he has out now. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. Love is free. Support is free. Pachabra knew that. Till next time, Jay Worthy on the radar. We out. Bow, my guy. Boom.